Marvel Movie Geeks, welcome back to the Geek Man Cave and welcome back to the Infinity Collection. Yes, Geeks, on this channel I am recreating cosplayable items, Geek Man Cave items for the Infinity Stone Collection. Those iconic Infinity items from the MCU in anticipation and build up for Infinity War coming out this April 27th. So, we've already created the Tesseract from Avengers Assemble, we created the Power Orb from Guardians of the Galaxy, we've also created Loki's Scepter from Avengers Assemble, and last time we created the Aether from Thor The Dark World. So we only got two items left guys, so today we're looking at the Eye of Agamotto, yes, the Time Stone. Now the Time Stone gives the user the ability to manipulate and control time. It's currently with Doctor Strange, back on Earth. So we're going to be creating a necklace out of quick drying clay and a few other everyday household items. I am going to be putting a lighter part of this one, but you don't really need to. Now of all the infinity items, this is the only one that I've actually seen that you can buy online, but we're going to be making it cheaper than you can buy it online. This is only going to cost you less than £10 to build this item. So what are we waiting for? Let's find out how to create the Eye of Agamotto. So what are you going to need? Well, you're going to need a Pringles tube or a crisp tube, some quick drying clay, a pen, uh, a piece of string, a shoelace is probably the best because you'll notice with shoelaces they have these hard plastic ends which are really good for inserting into the quick drying clay. A small green jewel, now you can pick this up in eBay, I got this in a jewel pack that will come for about £3 with different colour ones, good for when you want to make the rest of your infinity item. You're going to want a something sharp so you can pattern into the clay, a sharp cutting tool. Now, this is optional, guys. I picked up this orange tea light from the pound shop, but I needed to change the color. So luckily, I had an, a multicolored LED lying around, so I took the green one and rewired it. So when I turn it on, you'll notice it's a green LED light. But any white LED at the back of a green jewel should work. But as you notice, when I've got it on display, it will then light up. So with that, all the major items you're going to need. Now in regards to um, the items, the Pringle tin, all you need is this plastic piece at the top. You don't need the rest of that, you can eat the crisp layer. So it is this kind of plastic shape we want. So if you look at the eye of Agamotto, you can see that it has this overarching ring with these pieces that are above the stone. So what we're going to do, we're going to use our pen and we're going to draw that pattern into the plastic, use a pitch to help you, and then use your sharp cutting tool to cut out those pieces. What we want left is those lines that you can see across the eye of Agamotto. So with that cut out, what you want to do now is model your quick drying clay. Now you want to leave it at least one or two inches so that when you press your circular front panel in, it doesn't go all the way through. Use this as a guide for your eye of Agamotto as well. It may take some time to get the night right shape you want, so just play around with it. Now again, like I said, you want to leave one or two inches because then when you push your jewel through, it's not going to go straight through, it will hold it in place. If you're having a light back in like I am, you'll need to make sure that you've got enough space to put that at the back. The thicker you have your light, the thicker you're going to need your eye back motor. So just position your jewel up in the middle, push it into place and then get your your engraving tool and start using an image of the Eye of Agamotto to cut out that detail. Once you're happy with your detailing, use your string or your shoelaces and imprint all the final pieces. I'm adding a little bit of uh, quick drying clay to the top to seal them in. Hot glue will do this as well. Once all your pieces are in place, all that's left for you to do is to paint it. Now I'm using a gold metallic outdoor paint to give it that antique medallion shine. Give it a good coating and leave it for a few days to dry. Once it's dry, you're ready for the final reveal.
So there we have it, the Eye of Agamotto. The time stone is done. Really happy with how this turned out, guys. Nice glossy finish thanks to that gold metallic paint. And I haven't got the tea light put in, but as you can see, because we left a gap, the light can pass through it, so it even looks like when the light hits it, that it is actually glowing. But I've still got that indent so I can fit my tea light in and light it up if I want it on display. Really happy with how this turned out, guys. So that is it for the Infinity War collection at the moment. Since we don't know where the Soul Stone is, like when I started this series, I was adamant that we'd find out in Thor Ragnarok or we'd find out by the end of Black Panther, but we still don't know where the Soul Stone is. We know it's gonna turn up in Infinity War, but what kind of concept and what will it be in? My bet it has something to do with Wakanda, but we'll have to wait and see. So what does that leave for this series now? Well, it means I have to go on to the main event, the one item you guys have been requesting the most. Yes, guys, I am gonna be creating the Infinity Gauntlet. Thanos is gone complete with all six infinity stones i'll be creating that for you to geek out in your man caves or to cosplay with i bought the uh, the equipment i'm ready to start so that will be the next video but a lot of you have been messaging me what's next after the infinity collection well i'm happy to announce that i am going to be looking at marvel movie props and creating them for your man caves to cosplay with because when i watch these movies Watching them back over in the last few weeks, there are some items I was thinking, oh, I'd love to have that in the Man Cave, such as the Super Soldier Serum, um, Iron Man Mark I blueprints from the first film. I'd love to have that displayed on my wall back here. Um, of course, Star Lord's cassette player. These are things that I really want to showcase in my Man Cave. So I am gonna be starting a new mini series looking at items that you can make with me for cheap to geek out your Geek Man Caves, starting with Marvel. I'll also be looking at other franchises too. I've done a few Star Wars ones. I got a few Lord of the Rings ones coming up too. So keep an eye on this channel. And if you like this video guys, please go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for new content every week. I hope you have an amazing day guys. And remember Marvel Geeks, it's your cave, your rules, and I'll see you next time. Now, how do I get this thing to work?